Amazon took down the game off their website, and gamers are now utilizing a petition in, in order to get various signatures. Right now, they have about... let's count. Some the, uh, articles on the Escapist... I, and I don't know why I'm, like, stuttering there, I'm sorry. Anyway, some articles on the Escapist suggest that between 34 to 39,000 fans have gotten a petition together and gotten that amount of signatures. It's at change.org, and of course, I will give you the access to the description. I mean, the links, I'm sorry. In the description. EA cannot continue to believe that performing public relation duties like trying to get the LGBT on their side, or trying to re no, well, trying to give back people a new, uh, what do they call it? A key to another game, like giving them a free game to download. Not when this is the same company who repeatedly bans uh, users for questioning or trying to press into matters like this even further than the company wants them to. No, these are not people on your side. They do not believe in you, the consumer. So please, if you are thinking about buying this game, I'm gonna have to recommend that you don't. Your product will not work, you you give your money to them, and that's all they, that's all they need at the end of the day. To screw you at your expense. One more point I've been wanting to make since the start of this video has to do with Josh, you know, uh, the Darkness, the Curse, and his talk, his take on this DRM and piracy having to attribute a lot to it. There is one rebuttal that I would like to present today. He talks about the theft of intellectual property and wanting to prevent it as reasons for having this in the first place. While the intentions may be good and somewhat understandable, they obviously do far more to hurt the customer than to actually aid any party. In fact, it, it just feels like they want to do it so that they have an accomplishment to feel proud of. Really, all they've done is make things worse. In fact, Josh, one thing that you did not mention in your video is that this is considered theft of by another platform. Electronic Arts and the developers, well mostly the publisher, already have everyone's money and the game doesn't work. The game is going to take time to fix, no one's going to be playing it, and they want they will want to push for their refund. I don't care, I, in fact, I, I honestly would like to disregard, or at least not care about the terms of service that state that you cannot get your money back, and that if you attempt to do a chargeback, as Total Biscuit in his video explained, you will get banned, or your account will be closed. No. The point is, now the developers, or at least, again, the publishers, the distributors, they are guilty of theft because they gave you a broken product. It doesn't work, and they want their money back. They have reasonable grounds to demand it. Who could blame them? In any other business, you would get a refund immediately. I just don't see the double standard for the gaming industry. In fact, this is the most irresponsible uh, uh, career. This is the most irresponsible field of any of any practice at all because this is a software based industry is no right to call it different your product doesn't work it doesn't fucking work and of course I want my cash back which means that at this point electronic arts are more perpetrators than the victims they want to make themselves out to be and to prevent <laughs> prevent from becoming I mean yeah Okay, that's the end of my thoughts on this discussion, because, uh, I, this is one of those times where I really hate gaming, and I feel like, I feel like we're regressing into the dark ages of gaming. I, I don't know if we've been there, but I'm feeling like we're kind of de-evolving ourselves, well, with a lack of trust on all sides, from the media, to the consumers uh, being baited and turning against each other, to, to a, a group of CEOs and staff that really just want to capitalize while attacking us. You know, they want to spite us, but they, uh, they, they'll tolerate us as long as we get, as long as they get their money. Right now, right at this very second, I'm gonna go find a fun game to play, all right? Because I'd rather be seeing good things about PlayStation 3, 360, and PC titles than not. <laughs>
mission. Ensure freedom. Obey directive. Must obey directive. No freedom. Freedom undivine. What would an AI know about freedom?